So this is the gas tank out of the Autolite starting machine. Decided I would try to clean it doing some electrolysis. See how this looks? The whole bottom of the tank looked like this. And I've had it in this bucket going since last night and the whole tank wouldn't fit in the bucket. It's not deep enough but it really worked awesome. And I'm going to take this and hose it off right now and I'll just show you guys what I had. But I had this in there. I had it clamped onto the side and I have this piece of metal which was actually a wear strip off a, a 48 inch plow and uh, had it brewing in this bucket overnight and it worked pretty awesome. I really need a bigger like a rubber mate or something so I can get the end here so maybe we'll try that next but it really I'm very happy with this. You can see all of the crap that it sucked onto my what they call sacrificial anode here. All this rusty crap was all on that tank. And it all comes over there. It's really, really neat how this works. I got this crappy little battery charger here that I'm using to do it. I'm very happy with this. So now I'm going to empty this pail out and uh, we'll flip it over and the other side the other side of the tank and it'll be real nice. Here's a real good shot. You can see it was submerged in the water to there. All this old rust came off. It has this nice kind of black coating on it. Even the paint loosened up and uh, the end here also looks the same way. It kind of looks like someone put undercoating on it. What I'll do is uh, I'm gonna flip the tank over and do the other side, and then what I'll do is I'll just hit it with a little scuff pad or wire brush, and uh, then we'll prime it. And before we do that, I'm actually gonna do this on the inside of the tank also. Uh, the inside is pretty bad, but I've seen a lot of guys do this on online and videos and the inside of the tank cleaned up really really nice doing this so first we're going to empty our pail and we'll flip it over and I'll do the other end of the tank that wasn't submerged here and this should come out awesome okay so I got my pail cleaned out and filled up and I'll show you guys how I set this up first I'm going to take my my sacrificial anode here and I'll put it in there that's where your positive wire attaches and I was just taking this little spring clip here and I was clipping it to the side of the pail sorry this is hard to do with one hand then I was taking another clip and clipping this to the other side got to be very careful that they don't touch each other because then it shorts out and it's not going to work so I've got it clipped on there I've got my sacrificial anode clipped on the other side. Now what you do is you take this Arm & Hammer washing soda and you put in one tablespoon per gallon. And then I'll plug my battery charger in and you gotta make sure you got a good contacts with your clips from the charger and um, you should see that bubbles start to come off from the piece you're cleaning going towards the sacrificial anode and uh, you know I have a really old charger it's kind of a piece of junk but it works and it's barely using any juice you could also probably use some kind of transformer but I believe it's got to put out DC power so if you had like a, a 10 amp or 5 amp DC transformer that put out 12 volts maybe something like from an old train set or one of those kind of transformers they'd probably work good too So I just finished uh, doing electrolysis on the other side of the tank and what I did is I just hit it with this grinder here with this little wire brush cup. It took like two minutes and this is the part that was like total rust. I mean it's come out real nice and this is where there was paint. The paint all just loosened right up and I hit it with that grinder. It came right off. It looks like brand new metal and the end which was you know total pit city but it still is pitted but 
It cleaned up real, real nice. I'm real happy with this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually put something in the bottom of the tank and the thread so that it plugs it up. And I'm going to run the electrolysis inside the tank overnight. And I'm hoping that tomorrow I can empty it out and paint it and my tank's done. And that's about it. Okay, so you can see I've got this contraption on top of the tank, the negative hooked onto the tank, and I've got the positive going in the top. In fact, I'm going to get a little better connection here. It doesn't want to stick because it's going on something that's round, but there we go. I put a clamp on the front of the pail so the thing can't roll forward, and I got a clamp on the back so that it can't roll backwards, and you know, I'll let this run all night, and I'll empty it out tomorrow and this tank should be ready to paint and good as new. Okay well this thing has been going for 24 hours inside the gas tank and I just pulled the power cord. Let's pull this out and see what we got. Oh yeah it got a lot of crap out of there. That's awesome. So what I'll do is uh, empty out this pile of crap in there and see what we got. Well, here's the inside of the tank. It came out really nice. I just poured out the solution. I haven't even rinsed it out yet, but you can see that it looks like bare metal pretty much and the little bit of orange stuff just wipes right off with your finger. It's just like sludgy stuff. So this electrolysis really is awesome. Alright guys.